Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Reese and Rich and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your girl's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The correction and the motivation that we give the dogs when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Rich is using a regular six-foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand. That leaves the left hand free to give any correction that's needed and the only correction that we give here at school is a little tug and release on her training collar and she, she came with her very own training collar. She's going to go home with it and we're going to help, help you to learn how to use it properly to get the desired effect. Now she's sitting very nicely at Rich's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is proper walking on a leash like a lady without dragging you out of your shoes. And the command is reseal. Reese, now at this point she has a job to do, and that is to stay even with Rich's left leg while they're walking. She should not only match pace with him, but she should be aware of what he's doing so that if he stops his feet, she knows to sit automatically. So when you're walking down the street and you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street, she's sitting automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So if you change direction, you change speed, she should do exactly the same. So if you're walking very slowly and having a conversation with somebody, she should match your pace. If you're moving at a jog, she should also do that. And when you stop, you just saw her sit beautifully and wait for her next command. And the next command that we're going to demonstrate for you is the sit stay. stay. The stay is a hand and a voice command. And because it is a stationary exercise, it is a one word command. You need to practice this exercise in and around your home as many times a day as you can think of it because she's very easily distracted and she needs more focus and self-control. When Rich returns back to her, he will walk all the way around her. She should remain seated until he gets all the way back around to her shoulders and then he gives her praise for a good job. And praise here at school for the most part is petting and telling the dog that she's good, not, uh, not necessarily food, although there have been times with her that we have used food to keep her motivated and focused. Rich will leave her in another okay. sit stay. He walks out to the end of his training leash and you're going to start out with a sit stay that's about 30 to 45 seconds and you're going to work all the way up to three minutes and this time instead of returning back to her, Rich is going to call her. And this is your come command and she's to come in and to sit, not to come in and jump all over you. And then she returns back to heel and back sitting. Now there's a motorcycle outside and she's kind of got like a little split personality going on where we've seen her full out what you described, you know, very, very high energy. But you put that leash and training collar on her and she kind of becomes a little nervous and unsure of herself. So you walk a fine line with her. Now stay. Rich is going to leave her again in another sit stay. He's going to walk out to the end of his leash again. He's going to use her name and call her in. She sits very good. So, you know, we're trying to find just the right medium with her between discipline and praise because she is nervous on the leash. Now, the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is you're down from a heel position. And I'm trying to wait till all the bikers pass our intersection on their way to Wildwood. But um, she's, have her sit at your left. You're going to use your left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down. Down. And if she doesn't do it, you're no. going to correct her. Stay. Stay. She doesn't want you to leave her on the stay, stay, whether she feels vulnerable or whatever. But you can tell she just threw her hip out to the side. And that means she's more likely to hold that stay than when she's up on her haunches like a cat. And you can automatically tell she's going to break. Stay. 
When Rich returns back to her, he walks all the way around her, returning all the way back to heel position. He praises her for a good job. Your down stays, you're going to start out at about a minute to a minute and a half. Practice indoors as well as outdoors. And you're going to work all the way up to five wow. minutes. Now, that right. time she did it on the first command. So obviously she knows it. Now Rich calls her out of that down stay and she comes right in and sits. And they go back to heel. We know that you're really looking forward to getting her home. We appreciate that you allowed her to stay a little bit longer for us because we just felt as though she wasn't where she needed to be to go home. Now this time Rich is going to demonstrate the down from a different position. So he's going to leave her in a sit stay and he's going to turn to face her. He's going to use his right hand down. to give the command. Down. Stay. And then he gives her the stay command. Now our goal with this as we move forward with you is to have her do it from six feet away. Right now she's wanting to crawl in and she just wants to be with you. Now we have demonstrated for you all of Reese's formal on-leash obedience commands. She's really done a good job of getting herself adjusted here at the school and trying very hard to be a good girl. We've enjoyed having her. She's been a nice guest and we will see you soon. Thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.